Now, how do we actually go in and address this? Very simple, very, very simple. Each of these emotions are very specific moments in time. Brian had a resentment to his dad because he perceived him in the past verbally criticizing him. Right, remember that example? That's a very specific moment in time. It was on a Wednesday or a Thursday so many years ago and it was in a very specific space. You're in the kitchen, right? And that was a perception that that thing was happening to you. So we went back to that moment and the question I was asking him is, what are the benefits? Why? Net negative of the past, we want to find benefits to get back to truth, balance, equilibrium, call it what you want. How many understand? Yeah? And the other question I was asking him is, because at the moment you have a resentment, you're comparing it to its exact opposite, which you perceive as good. So the moment you're resentful to your dad verbally criticizing you in that moment, you're wishing your dad verbally praised you in that moment. So that is there as well, and it's all positive in your mind. So the other question I asked me, if that was the case, what would be the drawbacks to you? And if we were to go through and complete that properly and get a perfect one-to-one -one balance, then we would collapse this and there would be no fear of the future of that, happen that specific event happening again. But there may be others that we need to address. So when we go and talk about your trading emotions, your fear over losing and your greed over winning, these are driven by the resentment of losing and the infatuation over winning in the past. So what I suggest each and every single one of you do is you go back to your top three most painful losses of the past, trading and otherwise, and identify those and do what I'm gonna show you on them. Do the, do the exercise on them. And then go back to your top three most pleasurable wins of the past, identify what those are, and do the exercise on them. Why? Because when you address the past, subcon this is the subconscious baggage that I talk about, when you collapse it, you dampen the fear and greed response that's ultimately going to take you away from your trading plan. And you lower the probability of setting unrealistic expectations. And you increase the probability of sticking to the plan we just talked about creating. Is this making sense? Yeah.